Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. Today we're gonna continue our series on the US states with Colorado. If you're new here, feel free to check out my channel. You're currently watching a series that'll eventually cover every US state and territory. But if you would like to check out other countries, you'll find some playlists on my channel. I already covered all 206 countries, so there's plenty of videos to watch. Now, back to Colorado. The territory that is now Colorado was first discovered by Spanish explorers in the 1500s. But it wasn't until 1706 that Juan de Ulibarri claimed parts of it for the Spanish Empire. Roughly half of Colorado, the eastern half, was owned by France, which sold it to the US as part of the Louisiana Purchase. The other half became part of the United States at the conclusion of the Mexican-American War, when Mexico basically surrendered all of its northern territories to the US. Let's leave the history lessons for a moment and talk about something else. And with that, I have a question for you. Do you like conspiracy theories? Because Colorado is part of a major conspiracy involving the Illuminati, the Freemasons, Nazis and their New World Order. At least, that's how the theory goes. I'm talking about the Denver International Airport. This building is at the center of a major conspiracy theory for several reasons. First of all, an insane amount of money went into building it and not everyone is sure how it was spent. This airport replaced the old one for no apparent reason as there was no need of replacement and the new building didn't come with any major improvements. Except that it's bigger. A lot bigger, actually. It's about twice the size of Manhattan. Another curious feature is that the new runways are positioned in a way that closely resembles a swastika, which is weird to say the least. Inside the airport, there is a capstone that covers a time capsule. The stone holds a dedication that displays the Masonic symbols and acknowledges the participation of two Grand Masters of two Masonic Lodges. Underneath the symbol, the New World Airport Commission is credited for helping and fund the airport. But there is no such organization anywhere in the world. At least not officially. There are also some creepy murals on the wall that indicate a world war and that seems to end with a New World Order. The list of strange things continues and I do advise you to check this story out as it is really, really strange. Now, back to our plane of reality. Colorado is home to an incredible ancient relic. The Mesa Verde National Park features an elaborate four-story city carved in the cliffs by the ancestral Pueblo people. The park contains some 4,300 sites, including 600 cliff dwellings, the most spectacular one being Cliff Palace. No one is sure why this place was abandoned, but it is thought that the main reason is a series of mega droughts that interrupted food production. Other, more recent abandoned sites can also be found all over Colorado. There are more ghost towns in the state than inhabited ones. About 640 ghost towns are spread throughout the state, offering an amazing glance into the past. Initially, there were over 1500, but only these 640 are still around. But why are there so many abandoned towns here? Well, it was kind of a chain reaction. Mining towns were abandoned when the mines were closed due to the devaluation of silver. Then, the mill towns which served those mining settlements were also abandoned. With less demand for coal, the coal towns were next in line. Stage stops were abandoned once the railroad came through, and with all these people leaving their towns, a migration to the cities took place, thus leaving many farming towns completely deserted. The capital of Colorado is the city of Denver. It was first established during the gold rush as several settlements were built relatively close to each other. Montana City, Auraria and St. Charles City got Denver as their neighbor in 1858. Eventually, Denver grew and encompassed all of its surroundings. At the time, Denver was a frontier city. The main activities were revolving around servicing the local miners, so there were many saloons, shops, 
poker saloons and farms. This city pretty much looked like the typical towns you can see in old western movies. Let's also talk about Colorado Springs. This is where the North American Airspace Defense or NORAD is located. The Cheyenne Mountain Complex is a famous Air Force base that has been featured in many movies. The bunker was built on the 600 meters of granite and contains 15 buildings. Protected by a series of 25-ton blast doors, this bunker can withstand a 30-megaton nuclear explosion and can sustain an electromagnetic pulse. Amenities include medical facilities, a store, cafeteria, fitness centers and of course suites for the country's top brass. Many restaurants claim to have invented the cheeseburger, but it was Colorado resident Louis Ballast of the Humpty Dumpty Drive-In in Denver who named it. That is not to say that he invented the cheeseburger, as adding cheese to hamburgers became increasingly popular throughout the US during the late 1920s. But this guy was apparently the first to call it as such and then went on to trademark this name in 1935. The restaurant no longer exists, but its legacy surely lives on throughout the hungry bellies of the entire world. So this is it. These were 7 facts that I found interesting about Colorado. If you liked the video, please leave a like and perhaps hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment downstairs if you have something to say. Do remember that there is a Patreon page where you can support this channel if you wish to do so. You can click the icon on the screen or find the link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.